just got my new Wrangler barrier net in. So I'm going to install it today and show you guys how easy this is. These are the tools that you'll need. Got a T47 for the seat belt. And this is a 5 sixteenths for the seat latch. That's the only tools that you'll need. First, you'll need to loosen the seat belt. This might be a little tight. If it is, just take like a, another bar or something so you can get some leverage. Once you start turning, it'll uh, come out pretty easy. Okay, and you'll take this part here that comes with your net. And I put mine at a little bit of an angle so it's easier to get to because if it's flush up against the roof, it makes it really hard to get the straps in there. But it's totally up to you how you want to put it back in there. Just make sure that you have it facing up or to the side. Okay, and then just tighten it down. Sure, this gets super tight too because you know this is for your seat belt. Okay. And you'll repeat the same thing on the other side. And take your other piece here and apply it pointing the same way. Like I said, I did both of mine. Just a little bit forward and I'll show you a close-up here when I get done the same. Tighten it down. Okay. Next step will be to take your square ring here and it's going to go in right here. This is where you need your 5 sixteenths. Once you get it a little bit loose, you can usually do it by hand. And you'll just take your square ring here and put it back in. Okay, and then you'll just repeat that for the other side here. And then we'll move on to the next step. You see here is where I replaced the, uh, or took the seat belt out and put the hardware in. Here's the other place where I took the bolt out right here and I put this D-ring in. You'll have this on both sides. Okay, now it's time to put in the net. So depending on how close your uh, mount is up here, you may want to have something that you can pry it away from the ceiling a little bit. Even though I angled mine, it's still a little difficult to get to it. just used a punch so I wouldn't 
poke through my ceiling too easily, but you can use just something flat that lets you get in there. Okay. So I'm just going to do these loosely right here until I'm ready to tighten everything up. Make sure your straps don't get twisted when you're putting them in there. And I'm doing this from behind the net so you can see a little easier what I'm doing, but it's probably easier for you to install from inside the cargo area. You'll notice also I put down my back seat just because that makes it so much easier to maneuver around back here when you're putting these pieces in and trying to get your net installed. Tighten up the top. Tighten up the top here. Tighten up the center here. It's starting to rain, so I better hurry. Tighten up the center here. And then you'll want to tighten this to under your seat. So I'm going to come around here and show you. So what you'll do is you'll take the bottom strap and run it underneath your seat hinge right here on the corner. It's right here in this very, uh, very corner of where your seat hinges. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And just go around and tighten everything as much as you can. document and video on their website that shows you how to do this. And just go through and do that on every corner. Tighten the straps however you want to or if you want to cut them shorter, it's totally up to you. And I'm just going to go through and wrap these little straps up and uh, I'll show you the completed view in just a moment. And there's my new Wrangler net. Looks great. Barrier net now for the front and the back for both the dogs to uh, keep them more secure. And that's it. There's my new Wrangler net. I love it.